silent forest a few hundred miles from the South Pole. It is the end of months of total darkness, and as the sun's rays filter down through the trees, they reveal a cold, harsh world. Here there are polar dinosaurs, adapted to cope with extreme conditions, but even they struggle. This far south, the first day of spring lasts only a few minutes, but it triggers the start of an astonishing story of survival through the holy year. Spirits of the Ice Forest Antarctica 106 million years ago. the mid-Cretaceous period, and dinosaurs are now more widespread than ever, reaching every part of the globe. But one place is a special challenge, the South Pole. Here, a giant continent made up of South America, Australia, and Antarctica is kept warm by ocean currents that are forced down from the equator to encircle it. Instead of ice caps, there are lush forests. But unlike the unchanging tropical climate elsewhere, Antarctica has seasons, from hot summers under midnight sun to cold winters of total darkness. The Anasaur is a dinosaur that has adapted to this extreme climate. Throughout the winter, they survive in the warm, sheltered heart of the thick forest, but now in spring, they emerge to feed on the fresh plant growth. They are just two meters long, and their most distinctive feature is their large eyes, which help them find food in the dark winter. These dinosaurs are sociable little animals that live in small clans, enabling them to make the most of scarce resources. The clan is dominated by one breeding pair, and the hierarchy ensures that a Yelanosaurus is always on lookout duty. He regularly issues reassuring clicks as long as the coast is clear. Something big and it's in the water. looking creature is a relic from a time before dinosaurs. In most parts of the world, competition from crocodiles has driven these magnificent amphibians to extinction. But here, the waters get too cold for crocodiles, and the world's last Kubasukas survive, still patrolling the waterways, just as their ancestors did 150 million years before them. in 
means unique conifer and fern forests of specially adapted to lie dormant during the dark of winter. Only with the spring light do they start to photosynthesize again. For the clan, it is also a time of feverish activity. Having mated with the first spring sunrise, they are now building nests. It is a team effort, with the dominant pair building in the center and other subordinate animals working around them. Many of these piles of leaves will never hold eggs, but act as decoys to help protect the main nest. But no matter how busy these little dinosaurs are, they always have to remain alert to danger. A polar allosaur, a summer visitor from warmer lands to the north. He is a one-ton ambush predator. century, and as the clan melt into the undergrowth, he is no match for their speed and agility. <laughs> 